Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Aye aye, what's your t-shirt? <laughs> Excuse me. Aye aye, are you going to eat that? Ah, what t-shirt from Bob for Christmas? All right, so what are we giving it this time, Hunt? Um, that's uh, doxycycline, betracin gold, a bit premium, kinda. But it's doxycycline. That's antibiotic for antibiotic. chickens, like for calf or flus, uh, uh. whatever's. Right. Okay. So, what's happening is Vietnam. We pulled Vietnam in. Very old Vietnam. He's getting old. He's getting very old. But um, the point is, he's still part of the family. So um, he's like not moving too much. And the other day, he didn't need anything, and he just stayed in the one position. So I gave him one of those little tiny dark, dark. What is it? Dark greeny, browny coloured pills. Well, I don't know what fucking colour they're like. It's, all like, it's a dark colour anyway. But um, he didn't pick up. So what you can do, excuse me. What you do is um, just change the meds over. So we change the meds over to this, and I'll get this one into him. So chicken update. Right, so the new one's going good, the new red. That was from Stu when he was a little fella, half that height. And um, he's gone very good. He's gone very, very good. So the old red, we had him in here. And the guy who brought the goat, Chick gave him that free. And said, look, he's, he's getting on a bit in years, but um, he's, still, he's still a shagger festival, if you know what I mean. Still shagging. So we gave him that for free. Now he's just contacted Chick and he said, I want to come and buy five Rhode Islands off you and I want to bring my wife out to show her the farm because they've got land I don't know how big but they've got land and it's not being used so it's just a waste so he wants to build a house on it and make a little farm like we did so he's going to bring his wife here so that she can have a look around so we said yeah come and have a look around but we can't give you any chickens because they're all out and they come home over night time all by themselves and I'll be in at 5.30 so, um, if you want, come and have a, bring your wife around for a look, see, for an orientation look, that's no problem. But I'm afraid we, we can't get chickens until night time, like this one here. He wants the uh, Rhode Island type. So there you go. Right, so this mama crazy chicken. This is Psycho, this one. So I've moved her from the hotel on the end to over here. Because this is the only one that's got a decent floor. Because we haven't got the floors done yet because William brought the wrong wire, dickhead. So I didn't realise that the wire that I should have had was the real thick stuff, which I didn't know. And um, this one here isn't really thick enough. It only lasted, I think it was about a year we made these ago. I can't remember. With Bob and um, Bob the Builder and Wilfredo. So I'm going to use this instead for the dividers down through here because we put... We put netting across, but the little bastards are getting out through through the sides here. Look, so I put some of this on some of them, but um, they're getting out, they're going out through here on the netting. Some, not all, only some. So with a hole. So I'm going to save that wire, and I'm going to put it through here on each one. But I've never had them getting out through the back or anything yet. So it's only in between. So I don't know why that happens. But um, I've got to get new stuff here. But it's not this month because this month is, is um, bike registration, ACR renewal, land taxes. So the budget is fully formed. And Chick said, wait till next month, darling. I said, oh, okay, honey barn. Right. So this is my big boy, old Vietnam. He's old, look. He's old. Old as hell. But see, he's, got a, he's bloody strong. Well, for me to get the other chickens, I just get them down, open up their beak and drop the pill in. But with him, it's like World War Three, mate. His neck is so solid. Oh, come here, boy. Come here. Oh. Come here. Come here. Get your claws out. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit down here. Right, see if I can get him round. Oh. Right. He's got a really strong beak on him. Oh, really? Oh, 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 in, get it down, right, there you go, there you go, oh, you're a big boy, old Vietnam, I tell you, he, he, he fathered a lot of young chickens, that guy, he fathered a lot of young chickens, so we'll see if these red, if these yellow pills go any good, psycho, you fucking psycho, that one. So good young'uns, eh? I'll give her that. So good young'uns. 
good young uns. Oh, fuck me, where's that? Get up there. Right, so that's the chicken chicken update so far. So in here, I check two eggs. Every two days I check her eggs to make sure there's no explosions. So this one, hey darling, she's only got eight eggs under her, but I checked them all again this morning and they're all perfect. There's no, um, no gooby gooby goobies if you know what I mean. But over here, we had 20 eggs in here this morning. This is from two different chickens laying in here. So what I did, I had to take some out and relocate them to another mama. I had to relocate them. But overall, I said, it's going bloody good. But have a look at the dirt level. This, was, this, this dirt level was flat when we built this years ago. All right, Fully flat. Cement posts, cement bottoms, the whole lot. So this will last for just about donkey dicks. Absolute donkey dicks years long. However, the chickens come in here and do their dirt baths. Then they walk out and they shake themselves outside. So over the years now, look, this has dropped down. So next month, I'm going to send the chick. I want to do cementing on the goat's cradle, and I want a couple of truckloads of dirt to go in here. I can get all this back up again, because that's what they do. They have their dirt baths in there. Right. So the pigs are going good. I'll do a separate update on the pigs tomorrow, and uh, that's going to be butchering. I think the end of February is going to be the butchering. But uh, more on that one on tomorrow's videos. Nelly there, Bob. We've got to go out and get some um, jackfruit. One of Chick's goats has got the runs. It's got the runs up. So uh, jackfruit plant is what sorts it out. Right, hey darling, how are you? All right, so she's going well. I've given her some turkey eggs and uh, she's got one of her own. Listen to that one. No. No, this is a liquid one. Oh, we're going to get some jackfruit. So this one's, it's, it's got a, um, probably can't hear it, but it is soft. Right, that will go out. Ooh, yep. Yeah. That was just pure yolks, yellows. Pure liquids. Should have had a developed chicken it by now. So she's now got, she's got the turkey eggs underneath her. Those turkey eggs come from uh, Wilfredo's property over there. Now this girl over here, hello darling, hello darling. So what I've done is I've taken eight eggs, see under there? I've taken eight eggs out of that one I had uh, 18, 20 in there. And I've cleaned her nest out, which is this, she's turned this into a nest. And um, she's now sitting on this. So in 21 days, she'll have lots of chickens. If, if that doesn't make it dirty, like the last lot. See, once they, once they, if she shits in a nest and she moves the eggs around, the eggs get coated. Now the eggs breathe through micro, micro holes all around the egg. And if they get dirty from shit or another egg explodes and it covers them, it blocks those holes and the chicken will die inside the egg. You can't wash it off. You wash it off and you think, oh, that looks nice and sexy, doesn't it? But it's not because all the micro holes are still full. So all you can do is just look at it and go, you can only throw it away. Trust me. You don't say, oh, I'll wash it down, it'll be all right. It won't be. It won't be. Trust me on that one. Throw them away and just stick some other eggs underneath them because they have a lot of broody hens and they just want to um, sit on eggs all day. So there you go. So this is these ones here, these ones will go tonight. So he wants five. He wants five, he does. So um, we'll see if we can get him tonight. Well, right, I'm going to go inside, drop this off because I've got to go and help check one of the goats. I said it's got the runs. So jackfruit plant, the lease from that is what um, apparently stops them. So we know there's a lady up the road here's got one and she wants it cleared because it's touching the house next door. So we'll go up there and cut that down. <laughs> 